everyone, James Shramack from the Nerdle with J&J. &J. Today we're off on another toy hunt. So, I've seen that some places around the country have already gotten the Infinity Saga. We're going to start looking for those figures. I'm going to plan on checking out a Walmart and a couple of Targets. Now, if you've seen these toy hunts, you know New Hampshire doesn't offer a whole hell of a lot. But we're going to see if we can find them anyway. So, uh, crossing my fingers, hope we can find something. If you like these toy hunts, give me a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel, you know, the spiel. Uh, maybe, you know, join our Patreon page. Uh, anyways, let's uh, check out a Walmart first and then we'll get on to the targets. So, Walmart has empty pegs in their uh, Jurassic World section and we're moving on just to see what else they have. The, uh, it's a lot of empty space, it looks like. I don't know what's going on in Walmart. They usually don't have stuff as, you know, we've seen in these videos. So, yeah, we're just moving on. Ghostbusters, some Space Jam figures, a couple of guys over his Kong, Big Kong figures. Uh, not really much, really kind of disappointed as usual. Moving on. Uh, the Marvel section, now, of course, they have the Shining Tree figures, the uh, kid ones, some of the uh, Flex figures, Ben and Flex, I guess to call them. Uh, not really much not as usual, you know. I was looking to see if, you know, any of the Infinity Saga was anywhere top shelf, anywhere. They have these cute little Spider-Man figures, you know. Obviously not for me, but, you know, for kids, whatever. Jason might like that uh, Spider-Gwen, but, you know, that's his business. Uh, keep on going. Uh, some Mass of the Universe figures. DC, then a DC Multiverse. Got a whole bunch of empty pegs, looks like. So, yeah, it's Transformers same thing empty pegs you know we've done these walmart trips for a while and you know i'm usually leave empty-handed of course uh, the other side of the action figure aisle they have a decent amount of wwe figures i guess for you know what they have uh star wars you know star wars is probably dying let's face it uh, that figure wave is just slowly dying at slow death mass of the universe same stuff on this side that i've seen uh some of the Another big fat row of empty pegs. You know, it is what it is. Have plenty of Legos, though. They have, you know, the usual stuff. I thought that was kind of neat. A 1966 Batmobile kit. Didn't buy it, of course. I'm not really into Legos. The usual stuff that we've seen already. The Marvel and the DC and the Batman stuff. I know there are people that dig Legos, so, you know... Obviously, Walmart has plenty of Lego, so if you guys want to go there or you to your Walmart, you know, we can probably find something that you're going to enjoy and love the build. But, you know, like I said, it's not my cup of tea. I've tried one or two Lego sets in the past, and, you know, I, they just keep a spot in my closet. I'm not really interested into it. The other side, the same old stuff, the big stuff. Uh, one or two empty. They got a couple of empty shelves, it looks like. Some Jurassic World figures, some of the uh, more empty shelves, and the uh, more girl-related uh, Legos. Which you know, it's just, it's like I said, it's a good thing to you know branch out and uh, be inclusive to you know get the that kind of money too from you know because girls do like to build Lego, so why not? Some of the old traditional city sets. It looks like a whole bunch of them. Harry Potter sets, Super Mario. And, you know, moving on. Got a couple of empty shelves here, but, you know, nothing, you know, that's really de detrimental to the brand. Got this end cap here with some more Lego, so that's kind of sad, you know, I don't have anything new. And we go to the collectibles, NECA department. They have, they change this around so it's like a shelf instead of pegs. I've seen a King Kong there. And an empty shelf and some of the other, you know, collectible stuff. These, uh, you know, collectible boxes with, like, t-shirts and stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, what's his name? Angus Young, that's what it says on the bottom. And, uh, a couple of Big Trouble in Little China figures. Uh, didn't really see any other figures in a wave or whatever. But, you know, Wonder Woman, a Bendy figure, I guess. Uh, some Megos, uh. Yeah, you know, these Walmart trips are usually disappointing. The, uh. Arcade 1-Ups have this Miss Pac-Man, a, a new arcade NBA jam, and a uh, Midway uh, Legacy Collector Souls. That's it. 
Okay, so Walmart was kind of a bust, but uh, it is what it is. I wasn't really expecting anything because that's, you know, you've seen the Walmart videos in the past. So we're going to check the first target, the uh, one in North Nashville, see what they have. If we find a jackpot, maybe we'll run the video, but if we don't, we'll uh, head to the one in the Pheasant Lane Mall and to see what they have. So uh, let's get a target and see what they got. So as usual with these targets, I like to check the uh, collectible section, the NECA section. They got a whole bunch of these tiny Toonie Tar figures, Sam, Nosferatu, the Ash we've already done, among others. Got a nice looking Jason from uh, New Beginning. Spoiler alert, it's not Jason. A uh, whole bunch of other figures it looks like. NECA, Back to the Future. Stuff we've seen before, but you know, whatever. They have a decent uh, selection of them, so that's pretty cool. Moving towards some more of the Godzillas. You know, stuff we've seen before. Not going to buy that Jet Jaguar just because I don't like the lack of leg articulation. Onwards to the... It's supposed to be the Infinity Saga section, but all you can really see are some uh, figures from the uh, Ursa Major. Uh, so, yep, they're, they're placeholding. I'll probably keep on checking, but, you know, I do have pre-orders through Amazon for a whole lot of uh, the Infinity Saga figures, so we'll see what happens. Got some Iron Man figures, you know, from the Ursa Major wave, so. Anyways, moving on, some more of the Shang-Chi figures. Some the, They got a decent amount of Kid Avenger figures, but whatever. Not really my scene. If you guys want to see me review them, let me know. I'll probably take a look and we'll see what happens. And... Uh, uh, the DC Multiverse Selection. They, they have a surprising amount of figures. You know, I'm kind of surprised. A bunch of the uh, Justice League figures, it looks like. Flash, Batman, whatever. Uh, plenty of the Joker from the comics. Some of the smaller f figures. Uh, got some more empty shelves, of course. With Target, it's like, you know, sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. Like, Anyways, you got a big uh, freaking uh, Grogu figure there, some more Funkos, some more, pretty much it's Star Wars, anywhere you go, it's going to be Grogu's. Pretty much that's your Star Wars section right there. Got some more Space Jam figures, whatever, uh, Pixar, Disney, got a, a decent amount of the Jurassic World figures, got some of the, like, couple of exclusive, like the... Uh, T-Rex one, it's a little bit of, you know, I kind of want to get it, but it's 50 bucks, but we'll see, I kind of want to get a T-Rex for the collection, and that, that, uh, Jeep Cherokee looks pretty neat, got a couple others, but as usual, like I said, no Infinity Saga at this Target, so, uh, it is what it is. So, that Target's kind of a bust, even though they do have some of the Ursa Major figures, I want to see what the last Target has before I buy anything. You know, I really did get if they had the Infinity Saga out. I have everything on pre-order, but you know, if I can save 20 bucks and get the uh, Danos 2-pack and not, you know, pay for shipping from Entertainment Earth, that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, off we go to the other Target and see if we can, uh, you know, cross our fingers and hope we get lucky. So we're checking the store's NECA shelf as usual, like I do, like I said. Uh, nice Stanley figure right there, some like small uh, reaction figures, some more Funkos, but you know, it looks like they have some empty shelving going on here. Got some more Funkos on the bottom shelf. Godzilla figure we've already done. You know, I'd love to do some more Godzilla figures if, you know, they could bring some more, but whatever. NECA stuff you know the stuff we've already seen probably at the other store and they have a better selection if i should say so myself but anyways we're not here for the necklace we're here for the empty shelves of the infinity saga and you know i don't get why you know you have this section marked off for specific figures but you don't have any to go or to show or whatever you got plenty of the shang chi figures but it is what it is Whatever this is, Super Rama, I don't know what that is, more Chunk G. Moving, moving on, moving on. Power Ranger figures, Transformers, Snake Eyes figures. 
I'm not really into that movie, or I'm not really into G.I. Joe so much. But we're moving on. Transformers. Empty Shelf. You know, that is a story about New Hampshire, right? There's a whole lot of empty shelves. Got a couple of figures going on here in the WWE department. Uh, you know, the cameraman, that is me, kind of kind of wonky, but whatever. Empty shelves, empty shelves. It's all I do is take pictures and video of empty shelves. If you like the empty shelves as much as I do, give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you don't like the empty shelves, let me know that, too. They like New Hampshire needs to get more toys in their stores or whatever, but it is what it is. I guess. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> well... You guys never fail to disappoint, right? Uh, I guess I'm a little disappointed that both targets have sections for the Infinity Sagas. Just blank sections like they're expecting the supply. Hasn't come in, whatever. So that's disappointing. I picked up a Ash Bloody variant for the Tiny Terrors. Uh, so, you know, I don't like going empty handed or leaving empty handed with these hunts. So, got that. You know, take your wins where you can, guys. You know, you probably don't want to look, can't, can't find everything you're looking for, but you know, you can find something, right? So, um, yeah, that's uh, it for today, unfortunately. Uh, we'll keep on hunting, see if we can find some Infinity Sagas. And worst case scenario, I gotta wait till September and the uh, pre orders that come my way, hopefully. You know, you, but you never know with these pre orders, they could tell you like day of, like, oh, we sold out. Sorry, sucks for you, but we'll wait till then at least. So uh, we'll do what we can, see if we can find anything before then, but cross my fingers. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did like it. Hope you guys did like what is out there. If you didn't let me know. You know, I know we've been down the road before. We've, you know, I've, you know, talked in the comments with people about it, but you know, the East Coast kind of, you know, doesn't really, Get, like the selection that they should you know at a timely manner but whatever anyways my name is james Shermack. this has been the nerdum j and j so keep on collecting and happy hunting